Yo, what's up, Super Fit Fam? This is Super Chad bringing you guys another amazing video. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a workout that you guys can do in your own home that'll help you get bigger arms using your own set of dip bars. All right, guys, let's get straight into that workout. Before we start the workout, I wanna give you guys some parameters for this actual workout. We wanna make sure that we're doing four sets of each exercise, aiming for eight to 12 reps. That means that we're not able to do more than 12 reps, and we have to hit a minimum of eight reps. Then from there, we're gonna rest anywhere from 60 to 90 seconds in between each exercise. That is very important. With that minimum amount of rest, it will give our muscles more stimulus to make sure that they get that growth that we're looking for. All right guys, let's dive into that workout. The first exercise that we're gonna focus on is gonna be the body weight curl. This is gonna focus mainly on our bicep muscle. All you're gonna need is a single dip bar. We're gonna line up underneath it. From there, we're gonna make sure that when we're laying down, that our, the top of our chest or our neck is even with the bar. From there, we're gonna grab the bar with the reverse grip, just like this. You can wrap your thumbs around or over wherever you feel more comfortable. From there, I'm gonna straighten out my legs. And then from here, I'm gonna try to pull the bar to my forehead, okay? So I'm here, hips are up, forehead, back down, forehead, back down, forehead, back down, okay? If you wanna make it a little bit easier because that's really tough for you, you can bring your feet in closer to your butt. This will give us more leverage and make it easier for us to accomplish the exercise. Just wanna make sure that you keep your hips up, keep your glutes nicely engaged. You might actually have to move a little bit further away. From here, hips up, pull, come back down, pull to my forehead, come back down, pull to my forehead, come back down. Glutes are engaged the whole entire line, time to keep that body line. What you don't wanna do is that you don't wanna turn this into a rowing exercise. A row is a completely different exercise that engages our biceps, but also more of our back muscles. By doing the bodyweight curl where we're pulling to our forehead, it'll guarantee that we only hit mainly our biceps. So a bodyweight row would look kind of like this. I have my underhand grip, um, my legs are nice and straight again, and I'm pulling like up to my chest up there rather than my forehead, okay? So that's gonna be the first exercise in our workout. Let's get into the next exercise. The next exercise we're gonna get into is gonna be a bodyweight tricep extension. Now for this exercise, you're only gonna need a single dip bar once again. Now I highly suggest that you put the dip bars up against the wall, that way it adds a little bit more stability. It's not mandatory, but if you're having trouble stabilizing the dip bars, you can put it up against the wall. So here's what a bodyweight tricep extension is gonna look like. We're gonna grab onto the dip bars. We're gonna make sure our hands are around shoulders width apart. We're gonna move our body away from the dip bars. We're gonna be in this nice long push-up shape. Then from there, we're gonna make sure our hips are down. We're gonna come underneath the bar, just like this and then push back into that initial push-up shape. Come down underneath the bar, and then push back up, just like that. It's a really, really tough exercise. It's also really tough on the core. And if you're having a lot of trouble accomplishing this, what you can do is you can start on your knees and do the same exact thing. So we're gonna start with our hands shoulders width apart. My hips are down. You don't wanna have your hips back like that. Make sure my glutes are engaged. I'm on my knees, just like this. I'm gonna come down underneath the bar, just like this, keep my body line and then push back away. Come underneath the bar, and then push away. This is also really important. I'm gonna show from another angle. You wanna make sure that you guys are keeping your, your elbows in. You do not wanna let your elbows flare. So if I show from my feet, I'm here. Notice that my elbows are staying nice and in. And then even if I go to modified, my elbows stay nice and in, and then they push away. And that's gonna be the body weight tricep extension. And like I said before, four sets, eight to 12 reps, rest in 60 to 90 seconds in between each exercise. For the next exercise, we're gonna get into some body weight hammer curls. So if you've ever done curls before, you know there's a big difference between uh, normal curls and hammer curls. Well, hammer curls actually hit the longer head of your bicep. And if you actually look, if I keep my hand like a normal curl, you can notice that my bicep has a pretty big peak. But then when I, if I turn my arm into a hammer position, and uh, my bicep actually gets a lot longer. Hammer curls are really good for hitting that long head of the bicep. So I'm gonna show you guys how you guys can do a body, a body weight bicep curl. Um, it's almost pretty much like the same way that we did the curls before with the normal body weight curls. We're just using a different grip on our dip bars and we're actually using both the dip bars. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna get underneath, just like this. We're gonna grab here. Again, we're gonna make sure that we're starting out with our gripping point about somewhere about upper chest to our neck area. 
You can start with straight legs, which is a lot harder. And remember, we're gonna try to pull towards our foreheads. We don't wanna make it a rowing motion. So I grab here, my legs are nice and straight. I pull to my head. I pull to my head. I pull to my head. Just like that, okay? If you have to bend your knees, you can go ahead and bend your knees, but try to keep your hips up and your core and glutes engaged. So I'm here, my hips are nice and up. Move my feet a little further away. Pull to my head. Pull to my head. Pull to my head. Actually, that was a lot harder that time. I'm actually already starting to get a little tired. But you guys understand, if you guys actually saw my bicep peak when at the top of those reps, you'd actually see that my bicep is a lot more fuller at that top range of motion. And that'll help our biceps and the front of our arms look a lot more complete. All right, guys, let's get into that next tricep exercise. All right, so next we're getting into the most unavoidable exercise. We're getting into some dips, okay? So just a couple of things about dips. You don't wanna go past 90 degrees, especially if you're a beginner um, or more in the intermediate realm. You don't wanna go past 90 degrees because it does require more shoulder mobility. If you have more shoulder mobility and you have the capacity to go below 90 degrees without injuring yourself, by all means, if you have that mobility and that capability, you can go lower than 90 degrees in your dip. If you don't understand what that means, I'll show you guys what that is in a second, okay? So when we're doing our dips, we're gonna make sure that we're holding onto the dip bar really nice and strong. We're gonna take our knees, make sure we have a nice flat body line. You don't wanna just be all wobbly. From here, we're gonna go down to 90 degrees where our arm makes a 90 degree angle, and then we're gonna push back up. We're gonna come back down, push back up, push back down, and then we'll come back up, okay? Just like that. If that is a little bit too tough for you, you can always opt for dip negatives, where if at this point of the workout you're a little too tired, you can always opt for doing dip negatives where we come up to a support hold where we hold ourselves and we come down really slowly. We're like five, four, three, two, one. We land on our feet, come back up, do it again. Five, four, three, two, one. Come to our feet and do it again. If that's a little bit too easy for you, I know dips can be some for some people on the the beginner on the beginner side of things, what you can opt for is archer dips. These are a lot tougher, and you can actually push the difficulty on these as far as you want to. So what I would do, you're gonna come into a dip, so my feet are shoulders, well, my hands are shoulders width apart. I come down to one side, and as I come down, I push the dip bar out with a straight arm, push back up, pull back in. I come down to this side, I push out with that straight arm, push back up, and then lock out. And then proceed to do the same, exact thing that that rep wasn't as clean but you guys get the idea all right guys let's get to the next and final exercise so for our last and final exercise we're going to be jumping into some chin holds what you're going to do you're going to come underneath your dip bars just like this i'm going to grab with a reverse grip and all we're going to try to do is try to keep our chin above the dip bars so i grab here reverse grip pull my chin above if you want you can do it in a tuck or you can do it in a pipe Whichever you find can help you get to eight to 12 seconds of holding that, okay? If keeping your legs in a pipe is just too tough, make sure you just bring those knees in and hold it there, okay? That'll make the exercise a lot easier to hold because it'll be less strain on your abs. Because I did forget to mention this, that exercise is partially ab related as well. And if it's a little bit too tough for you, what you can do, you can grab onto your dip bars, you can put a foot on the ground just like this, and just use this foot as little as possible so you can hit that eight to 12 second mark. Also, if it's a little bit too easy for you, an option that you do have, so I'm gonna turn towards you for these, for this one, guys. Um, you're gonna try some individual little hand lifts, okay? This one is really, really tough, and I only suggest it for people who are a little bit more advanced. What you're gonna try to do is just eight to 12 little hand hops. So we're pretty much working on the one arm chin up, and this is really, really tough, guys. So we're gonna grab from this side, and I'm literally go to one arm, lift, 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 okay? That's really tough. I probably had a little bit of a ugly struggle face, but um, I just wanted to show you guys some options that you guys have for doing some alternate versions of some chin hold. All right, Super Fit Fam, if you guys had a lot of trouble doing those exercises or those exercises were way too tough for you, be sure to check out some of my beginner dip bar exercises. It's been helping tons and tons of people and I've gotten tons of amazing feedback on how awesome those videos are. Uh, if you guys need a set of dip bars, I am affiliated with Lebert. You guys can actually top up here. I'll leave a link in the description below so you guys can save on your new set of dip bars. And as always, guys, stay healthy, stay fit, peace, and I will see you guys in the next video.